Hey everyone, we've got a relatively short video today, all Dior. I have one of the new blushes on my cheeks, one of the new lipstick ba lip balms on my mouth, and we are gonna compare Black Bow with Pita Pool. If you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, if you haven't been to my channel before, hi, my name is Jennifer, and here on my channel, I focus on all things luxury, beauty, makeup, fashion, runs the gamut. And I was a makeup artist for Chanel half a lifetime ago. So today we're gonna to take a look at the Black Bow, the original, the if you will, this came out I think about three years ago, and the Pita Pool. I'm sure I'm butchering the French, but that is as close as I can possibly get, which basically translates to like a houndstooth check. Um, so the shades in here, black, silver, a little bit of a purple, kind of think about it like that, that houndstooth check. Um, Dior has done uh, patterns with that. And if I look at these two, I see the same color stories. I see exactly the same color stories, except in different places. Um, but we're gonna swatch. We're gonna put one on one eye, one on the other, and see if they, they feel different. I'll also tell you a little bit about the formula. I have used um, the new formula in the khaki and the rose tool. I also have used the amber pearl. I posted about it when I was um, on my business trip. That's what I used in the picture I put on, on Instagram. It's actually a really pretty color story, Amber Pearl. I will do a video with it, but if you're interested in that one, I do think that one's a very nice, warm, leaning neutral, and uh, the formula was excellent, lasted all day. It is, in my opinion, still not as good as the old formula, but that one, I think, performed pretty well. Really briefly, let me tell you what I have on my face. So this is a nude look, the blush nude look. This is the matte formula. Um, it has, as you can see, no iridescence to it, no luminosity, it is a matte formula. I also have on the Dior bronzer in shade four. They came out with new packaging for the summer. Um, it has that really cool like yachting kind of packaging. So four is what I'm wearing. That's actually one of my favorite bronzers um, of all time. And if you haven't checked out my bronzer video, you can check that out. Uh, I talk about that and where I place it in there. On my lips, I have the Balm in Rose Balm. Yes, Rose Balm. Berm. No, wait a second. Rose Broom. I don't know why I keep saying Rose Balm. Rose Broom. Um, on my lips, it, I, I did, you know, swatches for you in another video. It's, um, it's very, very light. And then I have Nude Look, the pencil from Dior on my lips, just to keep the look very neutral, very beige-ish. Um, because this look is an intense look, and when I do an intense look on my eyes, I like to keep everything else just kind of um, simple. No highlighter on today, just gonna stick with the look. So let's go ahead and swatch um, Black Bow and then Pita Pool. And when I do this, I will swatch the colors uh, in the same pattern so we can see, you know, the um, color stories in the same sequence even if they're placed in different spaces in the, uh, in the palette. Um, Black Bow is a great palette. Um, it's really, when it came out, very unique. Uh, there's a silver shade in here, that one right there. That is like an amazing silver shade, one of my favorites. I just feel like using that by itself is just a treat. Um, if you put some like, like even the black, matte underneath and just put that on the eye you're done like you don't even need you don't need anything else so it's an amazing look um and so it will be really interesting to see if the pay to pool um is a similar if not dupe because um you can no longer get black bow because this has replaced it that looks very similar if not exactly the same so far let's do the white it feels the same in the in the palette so far, so good. <laughs> this one's a little different than that one, but not by much. Um, it, this one, this, this gray that I was like, I'm amazed by in the original one, it's a little less soft when you swatch it, but the payoff is the same. That looks identical to me. The only shade that looks a slight bit different is this one and this one. This one's a little grayer. This is a little blacker. This black seems a little more pigmented than this one, but that's about it. I mean, if you just looked at my arm, like just glanced at it, you would think I just repeated the same. 
Gwent. I would anyway. And because in my other video I used the Sky set um, from Sonya G, today I'm going to use the Pro sets or the Pro brushes. These are the red lacquered brushes from Sonya G. I got a lot of questions about Sonya G because she restocked um, a lot of her brushes and I, I honestly, I use all her brushes. I mean, these are all red. <laughs> these are all my pro red brushes from Sonya G. Um, yes, I have them in a large nest candle vessel because that's one of the reasons I love candles. I can burn them and then use them for, for makeup, for brushes. Uh, all right, so let's go and so I'll use this set. I was just looking for some, I want to use the same brushes um, for the look. So what I'm gonna do with this look is I'm gonna keep it um, a simplified version of, you know, a, a sort of a day to evening kind of look. Um, so it's not gonna be super dramatic, which this can lend itself to super dramatic very easily, but you can also do um, a pretty simple day look with it. Also, I would just say, you can pretty do a simple day look with practically anything if you just, you know, use one or two shades or go in lightly. Um, this shade though, this, uh, this quint lends itself to, you know, being able to do more because you have such intense shades. But one of the ways that you can um, sort of diffuse that is you could take a brush. Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one I wanted to use. Um, so like a fluffy, this one's a little denser. This is the, hmm, this is the soft concealer brush and this is a Detail Pro, Pro brush. Um, so if you want to use like the black shade, but you don't want it to be like super deep, you can use it for liner at the end. We could take that shade on a very fluffy brush like this. And I don't have any primer on guys because when I do these, I try not to use a primer at first because I want to see like how it performs without a, a primer. I have used these with primers, um, and they respond, you know, extremely well. And you see how you just get like a diffused grayish look and not like black. So there's, and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. There are ways to use like a very intense shade, like a black, if you want a little bit of it, but you don't want too much of it to do like a very, very fluffy brush. Make sure you're putting the shade though, like in the middle of the brush, because if you have it like all over the brush, it's gonna be all over your eye. Um, so make sure, you know, you're being careful with it, but you can just use a huge brush like this um, and just blow out the look, the color. If you're just looking for, you know, something that's like, again, just you're creating a crease, but you want to keep it soft and diffused. That's a great way to do that. So I'll say right now, this one is actually, this side is actually um, more pigmented. I feel like we got, you know, I put the same amount on my brush and I feel like this gave us more pigment. So and that's the new one. So that's interesting because I haven't necessarily felt that with the others. Uh, I'm gonna take the white shade. I'm gonna put this, it is very um, sparkly. So if you're somebody who doesn't like sparkle in their brow bone area, then I would say don't use it there. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with putting like something shiny or sparkly in your brow. Just remember if you're dealing with, you know, more mature skin or skin that has like a little bit more uh, texture than you're comfortable with, then, you know, just remember that something that is sparkly or shiny or highlighty will draw attention to it. That's all. Yeah, they look, look identical to me. I can't tell a difference to be honest with you. So that's a good thing. Um, okay, so now we're gonna take the uh, purpley lavender shade and I'm gonna use a crease two brush Let's do black bow over here, focusing on the outer corner, but I'm keeping it, you know, fluffy and diffused. I'm not being super, I'm not being super um, specific. I'm making it really like a narrow look. Okay, do the same thing on the other side. And I am getting like a little bit of fallout and stuff, but that's fine. I can clean up my eye afterwards. Yeah, I actually think the new one is a little more pigmented, which is interesting. I mean, not a ton, but yeah. But you can see it's almost an identical look at the moment, which again is not bad. Just, you know, it's, I think this is going to be one of the ones that's like a one-on-one -on -one replacement. All right, now we're going to take the lighter silver shade in each one, placing that on the eye, and I'm going in gently with it. We're going to put the white in the inner corner. You can see like what a special shade that is. It's a beautiful silver shade. Um, 
it's just, uh, yeah, it's pretty gorgeous, actually. And this new one is, you know, going on the same. Now we're gonna take the, um, the deepest gray, the shimmer shade, and I'm gonna use a very pointed, this is a, a one brush. Literally just working a V out here with it, okay? Same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna take the black, very, very lightly kind of run it under the eye. Now we're gonna take the white shade and just pop it on the inner corner. So those are the two looks. Let me throw on some mascara, clean up my area a little bit, and then we'll come back and talk about the two quints. And we're back with mascara. So I have to tell you guys, I literally cannot tell a difference on my eye. I, I really can't. It looks identical to me, like beat for beat. It's exactly the same. The formula, seems a tiny bit different in this one, but to be honest, it actually seems better. The black is is uh, more pigmented and it went on really well. And the, the purple shade, the lavender shade is actually a little bit more pigmented. On the eye, I don't think it makes a difference. So, you know, I mean, the look is the same, but yeah, I think it's, it's excellent. It's, honestly better than the um the rose tool that i used that one like there were some shades that worked really well and there's others that didn't the khaki was a similar thing there was like one shade that i was kind of like eh, but the rest of the shades were good this one all the shades work perfectly and it, it looks identical and it's wearing the same on the eye you notice how like what i mean by when i talk about demarcation and how sometimes some of the quints or quads that i use will blend into one you can see when you look at the eye look, if you like really look at it, there's a purple tinge in there. You can see that's underneath on both sides. You can see the white, you can see the deep um, silver, and then you can see the gray, almost charcoal silver on the outside. The black, the, the matte that I used in the beginning, yes, that's not apparent, but that was used as a base to deepen up the look. So you're not really supposed to say that. Uh, but I did use it as, as liner and you can absolutely see it in that way. And I'm sure, and in fact, I'll, I'll do it right now. Let's just take a little bit of the, the black um, in each one. I'm gonna go like lightly with it. Um, let's do this side first. If I take the black, yeah, you can absolutely use that. I'm using a very soft um, brush because I don't want it to be like too much. But you can deepen this look with that black and it's like very clear that there's another shade like that that's a sign of a good quint or quad yes the shades should blend into one another in the sense that nothing should like be patchy and they shouldn't like they should work together but you see how you can now see that black shade as part of the look but there's different shades in there and you can see them you can perceive them you can understand when you look at it that there are layers that is is what gives, in my opinion, an eyeshadow quinter quad like the extra points. That's where I go, oh yes, that's really well done. That's a formula that I'm really impressed by. Compared with the formula where everything just sort of blends into itself and I'm kind of like, eh, you get one shade or two shades. Because the, the beauty of a really well-planned, well-made eyeshadow, quint, quad, palette, whatever, is that all the shades work together well, but they also like each contribute their own thing to the look. And this one I think is uh, an amazing example of that. And honestly, and this, I mean, the Peter Pool is just as good as the Black Bow. So if you were concerned about Black Bow and you didn't get that one, this one, I think, is an absolute dupe for it. It's the same. Uh, the shades are in different places. That's true. Um, you know, over here, the purple's in the middle, purple's on the side here. The, this black is a little bit more 
uh, intense than this one. And the grays look like they're going to be different because the grays look lighter in here and they look, one looks a lot deeper and lighter in here, but all when you swatch them, it's the same. It's the same shades. It might be a little tiny bit lighter in the new one, but you can't tell on the eye. So bravo to Dior. They uh, absolutely nailed the new Pitable, which is, in my opinion, a... Um, it's a replacement for Black Bow. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, certainly let me know. Look forward to seeing you in another video really soon.